story tonight. There have been at least three confirmed cases of infant botulism in East Texas. It's an illness that can be deadly for infants if left untreated. So far, two cases were contracted in Troop and one in Mineola. And health officials are waiting on the results of a fourth case in Tyler. KETK's My Owens is here to tell us how botulism is contracted and what can parents do, if anything, to protect their babies. My. Casey, today I met five month old Charlie from Troop and just three months ago he was fighting for his life after contracting environmental botulism. And even though he's now healthy, Charlie's parents are concerned that other babies in East Texas are still at risk. This is Charlie boisterous and happy. He talks a lot. He likes to play. He likes to be carried around. He loves his siblings. Um, I mean, at this point, he's really just a normal five month old baby, but he didn't always have this contagious smile. He woke up and he was just fussy. He didn't really want to eat. He just wanted to be held and he cried constantly. Worried Elizabeth Ackley took her son from doctor to doctor with numerous tests yielding few answers. Physicians finally suspected this mysterious illness could be botulism. Environmental botulism, however, this was new to me. I had never heard of it had never seen anything in regards to it. This is how it works. Just walking outside, there are bacteria spores all around you in the air. And once they come together and get inside an infant, they can release a toxin that can be dangerous. And that's a toxin which caused the problem, the symptoms, and it's a neurotoxin. Dr. Asghani is an infant botulism expert, and he says the illness is rare, but the first symptoms are rather common. If they're not active, they are weak, they don't want to eat, they don't thrive, uh, they cry, but cry is weak. We asked him, why are cases of the illness happening in East Texas? I really can't tell. Not knowing how to protect your children quickly becomes a parent's worst nightmare. It's terrifying, especially for mothers who, you know, they don't know what this is. They don't know what causes it. They don't know where it comes from. By sharing their story, the Ackleys hope other East Texas families will recognize the signs sooner. Do you go to bed with a healthy baby and then the next morning they wake up and they're just not acting normal? Instead, they're sick. Now, experts say there's no way to fully prevent this illness. A lot of times the bacteria comes from dirt and dust in the air. Reporting live in studio, my Owens, Kate K News.